Hey, what's up? Zach speaking. Hey, good morning, Captain K-Man. What's happening? Hey, how you doing, Captain K-Man? Doing pretty good, man. Thanks for taking the time to wake up early ass in the morning and do a little interview. <laughs> oh, no problem. That's rock and roll, right? Right on, man. Hey, let's get it started with, uh, why don't you explain the 11th playing tour? Can tell us about the bands that are going to be on it and uh, tell us about the VFE show in the East City. Oh, right on, man. Yeah, dude, we're uh, really stoked. Uh, to go out on the road with our label mates, My Heart to Fear. Uh, Luxor Records is putting on this awesome tour, the 11th Plague Tour. It'll be the last tour of the year for us that lies within. Yeah, man, we're really stoked to hit Texas anytime on tour, man. We absolutely love it. Uh, Houston's always been really, really well to us as well, man. The BFC Rock Club, our first time coming there. But um, we're definitely really, really excited to hit this. Uh, we're going to be coming through this on uh, the 13th of December. we got tons of cool local support there as well, man. So, man, just all of you guys have been really kind to helping out, man. This show's looking really awesome. I'm really stoked. Oh, cool, man. Right. Hey, man, let's talk about your in-store appearance at uh, Misunderstood Eat Tattoo. It's going to be a really cool. We're going to have an in-store appearance. Well, we, we do this. We do this sometimes on tour. It's uh, very rare, so definitely want to make sure to get everybody to come on out and uh, come hang out with us before the show. Come get a meet and greet. Um, so they'll be doing some kind of giveaways there as well. And so definitely multiple reasons to come out to the show. You guys, you guys have. Uh, I mean, does everybody have tattoos in the band? Is that why you're doing that to tattoo shop, or is it because it's the tattoo shop's putting it on? You guys got a lot of time. Oh, uh, well, you know, well, it's a little bit of both, you know. I mean, everybody in the band, except for one of us, has tattoos. Uh, two of us, a majority of us, are covered, you know. So definitely tattoos and, uh, you know, the, the whole ink lifestyle, I think, goes hand in hand with rock and roll and metal, man. Um, so it's really cool to see, you know, tattoo shops and venues collab to uh, support, you know, some of the cool rock shows coming through. I think it's a great idea. Okay, right on. One one of my fans, uh, or one of the things my fans really like, I'm sorry, it was real early in the morning here, I'm tired of drinking coffee. Um, what is the, like, the freakiest, most, uh, the weirdest thing ever happened to you guys while you're on tour? Like, on stage or in the bus or whatever? No, oh, man, you know, there's, there's a definitely a handful of uh, <laughs> great opportunities and crazy things that happen on tour, man, you know. Um, the road, the road is definitely very interesting. It's a lot different than, uh, I think, anybody could prepare or plan for you know um but i think uh you know one story that definitely sticks out with us is uh you know we had this awesome very very kind uh homeless gentleman who came up to us after a show in uh, gastonia north carolina i believe it was a, a year or two back cool. i think it was on tour with uh, a band called nevada rose he came up and he uh he, he could he basically just asked if we were in a band we said yeah you know and just kind of one of those guys that had a hidden talent and he just started singing, man. The guy could sing really, really good. So, uh, anyways, one of the guys in one of the bands on tour grabs grabs some uh, whiskey for him or whatever. And basically, it was like a handle. It was a lot. I asked him, hey, you know, if you, if, if you could chug all of this, you can have it, obviously. You know, just got to chug it all, though. And I'll tell you what, man, this guy, this guy downed it like it was nobody's business, man. And uh, after that, he was still singing, but it just wasn't as good, you know? <laughs> but it was a good time, man. Cool. Right on, man. Hey, um, just, uh, why don't you guys plug your band a little bit, tell us about the members of it, and, uh, what, what's, uh, kind of a major influence you guys uh, all have as, as a part of it, what makes you guys want to be a musician? Oh, uh, yeah, man, for sure, for sure, yes. For those of you guys that don't know who we are already, man, we are at Live With Band, we're based out of Flint, Michigan. Uh, you know, we're just representing, uh, you know, metalcore, um, and we're out there, been hitting the road for a couple of years now. Uh, we're just blessed to have the opportunity, you know, to come out there and, and rock out with everybody, meet new people, uh, have new adventures, add, add more members to our family, we call it, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, man, we're definitely, uh, we're influenced just by a lot of different music, honestly, man. The genre of music uh, in our band between the members goes, I mean, it's just so deep and so left field, I could get into uh, everything, man. But, you know, obviously we're a metal band for a reason, um, you know. And, uh, man, we just we just love our metal roots, I guess. That is, that's really all I can say, man. There's a lot of bands out there kicking ass and taking names, man. And, and I just support the scene 110. Cool. Hey, before we get done with the interview, I want you to introduce your song, Starscream, next. Hey, what's up, listeners? This is Zachary Scott from It Lives of Sin. We're hanging here with Captain Caveman and the Morning Metal Show. And this is our song, Starscream. Check it out. 
All right, right on, man. You guys have a great day. Hope you get some sleep, and uh, we'll see you guys in Houston. Hey, you guys too, man. Thanks for having us. It lies within you all. We'll see you there. All right, rock on, man. We'll have a good day. Hey, man. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. The Divine Right Live, Mighty Fish Entertainment Event.